All right, so this is techno banter, and it looks like it's controller friendly. So let's go. I want to talk to frog people and dolphin people. Is that the Mothman? Or that's probably more like looks more like a house fly, honestly. Do 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 do. There we go. There we go. Okay. I realize I have a controller. So this frog people is techno. What was the demo version of Techno Banter? Dot dot dot. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Okay, beat or uh, progress. You're about to wake up in your flat and head to the club you work at. Okay. Or right, keep showing that cursor. I'm going to turn off cursor capture real quick. Ooh. All right, night one, a new beginning. Input controller, yes, thank you. A little bit of chug. Oh, not time to go to sleep yet. Can watch the news. I only get the news channel. Should I watch the news? Yeah, let me turn off cursor capture. Who is banging on the door? Okay, that should make that go away. Alright, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, let's have a look. Broadcast approved daily news. Bad news, oh. Welcome to the BAD News. We are the Broadcast Approved Daily News. We are dedicated to show those who tune in 24 hours a day, 365 days a year how this evening is not good in any measurable net way. So what happened today? Ada Convert Beta Progress is a little weird, but I can use it. The tongue, the head of the butterflies, was spotted socializing at Biden Hander's white party. The death cult leader's presence caused quite a stir. The controversy is called the Biden Hander estate to release the following statement. He let go of Mr. Biden Hander's personal bodyguard, or his dealings with the death cult, his lack of basic hygiene and general violent tendencies. Around the same bodyguard, also a really engineered and unimportant artist at the same party. In other news, scientists claim to have found the most promising cure to global warming as of yet. It involves the creation of what experts call a nuclear winter. <laughs> Uh, I've seen enough. Okay. Alright. Oh. oh, here we go. Tutorial manual. Yeah, let's check the basics. Alright, time to read. On the shitter. Okay. Not tonight. The social failure's guide to bouncing. Are we our bouncer? Hell yeah. Hit rock bottom? At least there are jobs there. Jesus Christ. Oh, not tonight. That's also the... Well, I guess it's the thing you say about as a bouncer, but it's that one... Um, Game we were bouncing at that English club post Brexit. All right. Parties of great ranges to them. Ever been to a shit one and wish you'd stayed home? Or worse, got your head kicked in because the guy at the door didn't do his job? Ever been to one where the crowd became one uh, community of fellow souls lost in dance and music? Parties have made up of the musicians, equipment, drinks, and most importantly, the people that are present. Sadly, a party made up of a bad crowd can't be saved, even with the best of drinks. That's where you come in. Your job as a bouncer is to let the right ones in and keep the bad apples out. So, first you gotta check whether their guests would be a match for the party that evening. The observe skill allows you to use your gut instincts to see who you're dealing with. Anyone triggering a red flag should be rejected. Pro tip, carry a small note with you at, uh, a small, small note with all the red flags the club has so you can ch check when you observe them. Common red flags are underage, totally wasted, aggressive, uninterested, salespeople, creeps. Expect resistance. People hate to have their party spoiled and be sent home. If they resist your mouth off, use your words. There are simply too many people for force to be effective. You're just one person, after all. Luckily, no one likes to be embarrassed in front of a crowd. Bounce. Uh, let's 
So use your words to wear down the determination until they're done for the night. Being attacked verbally calls for a verbal counter. When a guest tries to insult you, pick the right repartee out of all the thoughts floating in your head at the moment. The right one is always there, don't worry. If you hit it just right, it will backfire on the person and make them look bad instead. Pick the right strategy. When the guest is stumped, it is your turn to act. You can pick from a variety of skills. Replenish your energy by having a sugary drink, if you got one left. Or even use the skill to insult them yourselves. But all, all, always remember, only suckers use the same line twice in one night. They lose all their flavor, you know what I mean? Also, make sure the skill matches the person in front of you. People are affected by different things. Uh, once the trollmaker understands you can't be messed with, they will simply leave and let you do your job. Protect your own composure. Sometimes the stuff people say catches you off guard. Happens to the best of us. If you lose your composure, sometimes you have no choice but to let the wrong person in. In that case, make sure the rest of the people even it out for the night. Not all is lost. Some great people can make up for some real assholes, you know? True. Uh, get the crowd on your side. Crowd loves a verbal spat. Get it on your side by being witty repeatedly, and their cheering will be the salt in the wounds of your enemy. It'll make everything you say even more powerful. Check your power level 0 to 3 to see if the crowd is on your side. And create legendary parties. Better party rating improves the reputation of the club, which attracts more distinguished clientele on the following nights, which leads to more income for the club and, hopefully, more cash for you. That just about covers the basic, but anything can happen is when anything can happen when you party. There's plenty to do on top of that to get an evening, evening just right. Check your inventory outside of a conversation to check your notes for what else you got to take care of. You can also check to see, see, see all the available skills you can use. Okay, the rest of the book is just kind of ranting about harder uh, about border control minorities and his ex-wife. Okay, it, le it loses some of its quality from this point on. Okay, we are done here. So I got keys. Oh wait. Oh, I guess because we're close to the safe space. 34 euros. We have one sugar shot. Got it. Bumper. Okay, we got skills. Intimidate. Unmask. Works on arrogant. All right. Soothing words. Uh, cutting remarks. Observe. Rational for reasoning for rational. Manipulate naive. Intimidate emotional. Okay. Yeah, the bumpers are going through what the Q and E are. They haven't really uh, completed the UI for controllers yet. Okay. Book a little hungry, but it'd be worth getting a bite to eat before you work to fill up your energy tank. But your funds aren't unlimited. All right. Huh? Oh. That sounds safe. Only left in there is that musty old fridge smell. Oh, and an old onion in the back. You don't remember where it came from. I'll take the onion. Might come in handy, you think? Idiotically, as <laughs> you pocket the onion. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to stop somewhere to eat, I guess. We got anything good? Nope. All right, fine like this. Okay, the clothes give you stats. All right, that's fair. All right, can I help you? Bro. Man is kicking hard against the door. Oh, what are you doing? Boy, you look just like the person I need. Can you give me a hand? Oh, or a foot? Can you smash in this door for me? Uh, observe. I've never seen this guy here. Let me get you. I haven't lived here for long. Hello? I kind of need some help here. 
Uh, who are you? Don't you know about me? Most people here are aware of me. He seems disappointed. I'm the one special neighbor you have. Come on. You know the one. Why people over and starts arguing with the Lally? Drill salt the walls in the middle of the night? Uh, the one randomly starts screaming at night and smashing up his own flat? Yes, that's me! So you do know me? He seems pleased. That's a relief. For a second, I thought it was all for nothing. So now we got this cleared up. Do you want me to help break into my neighbor's apartment? Yes, into my apartment, in fact. Come on, don't act shy now. Look, that's the kind of thing you do all the time. Uh, do I look like a burglar to you? Nah, more like a small-time crook. Someone who tries, but gets caught right away. But I can't be too picky with my situation. Oh, hey, what's up, Tenga? We are, uh... Busting down a door. I think you'll do. Alright. I guess we'll help him. Smash stuff, say no more. Alright, just, uh... You seem like the right person to get this door open. Here's the door. Give it all you got. Uh, kick it? You aren't able to lift your knees high enough to kick anything. What? You can take the years of working stage you got for that. Uh, hammer your fist against the door. Fists aren't hard enough to break a door like this. That did nothing! Again! Alright, oh, threaten the door. Turn you into firewood. That did nothing! Again! Alright. I guess we could hit him. Door's the one causing a problem here. Oof. Dead. Instead of helping him, you viciously, viciously beat him down. Quest successful. Close enough, I guess. Okay. Oh, sweet silence. It looks like there's nothing left to say. Bounce gets a bad rap. But it can sure make people do what you want. Hell yeah. Uh, elevator me, I guess. But yeah, welcome to uh, Techno Banter. We're a bouncer, apparently. We shall bounce. I don't know how much lo longer I'm going. It is incredibly uh, early in the morning, and I've been going since around at, well, a little after midnight, so. I want to sleep. But I wanted to get, like, this and one more in before we call it, because I don't know what's going to get pulled once the next fest wraps up. Alright, we're not going home. Hey, Friendly Freddy. Second. Well, this is Nil. The bouncer over the green door. Do we know each other? No, but I know uh, about you. I'm the local guide, Friendly Freddy. But please call me Friendly for short. I will not do that. As you see, I'm all about th making things quick. This street is my soul, my best friend, my maiden, my family. But at this street, and I will erase you from history. How can I help? Uh, I'll take some information. Can I ask you some questions about this? Sure, I'd love to help. You could pass the strip in a second car, a second by car, and it, to most it doesn't mean more than a star in space. But to me, it is the most beautiful cosmos I've ever witnessed. Okay. Uh, what do people do here for fun? We got great entertainment here. There's the arcade, Faust, Naked Eye Club, and the Green Door. Uh, I love arcades. Who doesn't? It's behind the wash, wash saloon. But some cool teenies made it their hideout. Nobody's allowed to go in there. I saw a broken arcade in an alley. You can use the train standing in front of one and uh, simulate the simulation. I can't get more simulational, except this would be a game. Haha! -ha. I know the green door. The bugger at the end of the strip. That thing with the bo withheld bombs in the war. Great club, or used to be. Run by the toughest and ugliest beast in the street. Gunti. Made the club legendary in the disco era. Could use some of that mojo now. I never witnessed any of that mojo there. Naked Eye Club sounds raw and dangerous. I wonder if the kids hire me as a bouncer for the arcade at some point. It's very exclusive. Money has no value. Only your amount of followers does. Oh. Nobody knows how many you need. 
Bath sounds strange and sounds strange and exotic. Very colorful place if you love it like a rough and kinky Oh, it's Burgine. Okay. It's fun, it's full all the time. First club created in the unlucky district after the big division. Right on the other side of the street. Every Wednesday they do an open mic call named Gags and Gags. Uh, any dangerous corners I should avoid? Definitely, like every good neighborhood with some character. There's the seaside, the plaza, the border, and the tunnels. Tunnels. At the end of the strip, to the left. Pass this way to the highway, but certain death without a car. Like every week, some drunk walks in there and never comes back. Seaside sounds chill. Depends. That's the no number one spot for getting rid of evidence and poetry. I finished some keys there once in a while. Or once or twice. That's how I woo my love interest. But be careful. There's a legend of a naked hermit and his raccoon living there. That sounds like a friend. The border is where? On the other side of the strip. Behind the green door to the right. It leads to the lucky district for the rich and powerful. Oh, great. Classism. Don't joke around with those guys. Only money will bring you there. Plaza sounds great. To cockroaches, maybe. You will never find more wretched hive of scum and villainy. It's the empty plaza between soup kitchen and fat cat burger. Sounds like the place to be. Yeah. I should get some food. Oh, there are plenty of choices. Did I ask for basic services? I don't think I did. The soup kitchen, there's a fat burger soonish, the dumpster, and the less than supermarket. Less than supermarket? Yeah, it closed, it's closed at night, but there's a sugar shot machine in front of the shop. Okay, cool, cool. It essentially sums up the whole experience, just without the insults. Uh, fat cat burger restaurants are popping up everywhere. Yeah, I guess everyone likes addictive food. Opening should this be this week, but I'm not sure they're open yet. Dumpster sounds interesting. God, as an option for food, sure. Don't expect to hit a new place. It's an actual dumpster at the plaza. Sometimes you have to fight for it, but it's free and still healthier than a fat cat burger. Damn. Now we have the soup kitchen. Good place to eat. Right next to his laundry. Uh, this laundry. Cool people go there before going out or after. Uh, what about the basic services? All you need is here. The wash saloon, apothecary, gym, and the fruit shop. Of course there's a gym if we're a bouncer. Where's this fruit shop? It's opposite the plaza. Nobody understands the owner. But it's a great place for some breakfast. Just try to establish some kind of communication. Uh, you mean this wash saloon? My first home. I slept in the machines when I was little. I found my first love here too. Fashion and fabric softener. For the purity of it, I don't like to wear any clothes. But I have to. I feel you. Just get naked and walk around on a clear, brisk morning. People approach you completely differently. Thank me later. There's an option to uh, walk nude, uh, or yeah, set your clothing to nude, so... I imagine they genuinely do. Now we're gonna pump some weights. Oh, sorry, controller being weird. Oh. The gym is hidden between the soup kitchen and the plaza. It doesn't even have a working light. Only members can train there. Okay. Where do I get my meds? At Poppy Pills. It's on the... Uh, Poppy's Pills. It's on the other side of the street, between the sugar shop and the fruit store. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, I could be crazy or a genius. Or a crazy genius. We'll see. Uh, is your name ironic? Nope, I'm really a good dude. Giving out information for free and spreading the love. What a guy, what time is it? Don't know. Don't like watches. Why? I don't like the concept and then disrupting the visual impact. There. So what do you do in your free time? I'm free of time. Lots of yoga and gambling. Perfect balance of exercise for body and mind. This started because we did everything? See you around. I won't go anywhere. 
All right, let's go. Um, oh my, what a dirty boy. I should wash you all over. You did come to get those clothes washed, didn't you? Or are you here to pick up some laundry? I kind of want to get to work. Just to get the main vibe here. What are you looking at? You. Factually correct. Fair enough. Alright. Peter. Guten Tag. You don't look like a Faustian. Faustian? Yes, that's what we call our regulars. Anyway, how can I help you? Peter seems pretty nice for the owner of a BDSM club. Maybe his dark side comes to light when he puts on that leather, leather mask. Yes, he does. What? How do you know? Is this what you are thinking? Yes, it does. Our club also has a buffet. What do I need for entering your club? Oh, you don't need anything. Only some natural curiosity. Are you curious? You could call me that. You don't seem like the adventurous type. Uh, I try new new things every day. What was the last thing you tried? Uh, getting up not feeling tired? Didn't work. I don't think Faust is your zine. Okay. Oh yeah, I did want to ask what happens in the club. This is something only Faustians ever find out. Faust is like a dream in the darkness, a place to cater your primal desires. A place for Schweiner, I uh, would say. And for stand-up comedy on Wednesdays. Okay. It's nice meeting you. Yes, come back when you are ready for Faust. Hello. Cheers. This place provides bad drinks. I provide the bad life choices. Cheers to that. Cheers. Less thinking, more drinking. Cheers to that. Okay. I think we're just gonna get a loop there. Alright, um... Let's enter the cantina, why not? Oh, we got a seat, cool. Oh, hungry face, welcome to my humble cantina. How may I serve you? Order some food? As I thought, another hungry soul craving nourishment. You've come to the right place. Enjoy a bowl of my soul soup. The best soup in the world. Oh, this is the soup kitchen, okay. And how much does the best soup in the world cost? For you? It is on the house. Thanks, buddy. Under one condition. Uh, what's the condition? I want you to give me a thing only you can provide. I want you to tell me exactly what, how the soup, what the soup makes you feel. I want your honest opinion on the soup. That's it? You just want me to say if I like the soup and then it's free? As I said, I want your honest opinion. That is the price. And if you could pay it, the soul soup is yours. Deal? Soup me. He serves the soup with a cat-like speed, surprising even you. Here you go. Start with a spoonful. Actually, can we observe it? Observe the soup first? It's like any other soup, but what does it taste like? You eat the soup using your spoon like a decent human being. Thank you. Tell me what you feel. Does the soup awaken memories? The soul soup quenches most of your hunger. You feel it refill your energy. Not totally, however. You taste the potential, but there's something missing. So, is it as good as I said? This tastes like stale piss. Alright, um... Could be better. Something's missing. He did want an honest opinion. 
could be better? It is true, isn't it? I've always feared this day would come. My soup has lost its soul. On the inside, I've known for a while. You have promised your honest opinion, and I, you gave it in full. Your honesty showed me the truth is that I needed to hear. Thank you. See if you give him a moment on his own. Okay. Alright, I guess I'm done here. Time for me to go. Time to go. An old guy swings slowly back and forth. I realize now that I never needed much to be happy. The taste of a stiff, cheap drink? The squinted look of someone's eyes when they laughed at my jokes? It's the little things that make life grand. You know what I mean, son? Totally. I knew you'd understand, Sonny. We're one of kind, you and me. We appreciate life. Ah, oh, the click of a handful of coins in my pocket. The dull sound of someone's head hitting the pavement during a fight. Ah. Oh. Yeah, kind of like a wet, heavy thud, isn't it? Now you're talking my language, son. I knew you were alright the first time I saw you, just now. One day, I found a young one passed out to vomit. Then a crusted 20 euro bill in her hand. There's luck, and then there's luck. You know what I'm saying, son? What happened? She left in the ambulance, someone called her. Put that little 20 stayed with me, snugly in my pocket. All the little things. You're saying it, old man. You remind me of the grandson I never had. This is for you, kid. Buy yourself some candy or something. He gave you a euro. It's the little things. Okay. Cultists. I like that they're just, like, sewn into little, uh, sleeping bags. As much as I want to interact with everybody. Oh, what's your deal? The end is near. He doesn't seem to like, uh, like she really thinks the world is ending. Uh, how will the world end? Bomb well, by some weirdo cult could happen any day now. Why will the world end? Artificial intelligence will take over someday. Something's off here. The answer doesn't really fit my question. And she changes the story every time. When will the world end? Yeah, I think again. Interrogate. Okay. Sounds weird here. What what do you mean? You change your story constantly. The end of the world can come in many forms. I mean I know what's going on here. You're actually an alien. Sure, seems you are the crazy one here. Seems your skill level is too level load on uh massacre. Alright. Guess we better get some things ready before the end. Okay, it's kinda cool that you can like uh Mess with people. Alright. Are you the boss? Hey there. You look ready for another night, lad. Ready to get working? It's your boss, Gunth Gunthy. Almost misread that. Some people just know exactly what they want in life. What are you staring at, lad? Less pondering, more work. Ready to rake in the dough? Uh. Can we chat? Do you not call me Lad, please? Why not? Out of all the names I could be calling you, Lad is one of the nicest ones. Anyways, it is the right of the elders to name the younger ones. That's always been the case, Lad. Fine! Alright, let's start work. Yeah. Sip here. All right, that's the spirit. Okay, laddie, this is how we're gonna play this. We gotta increase the quality of our party, so we're gonna make it to the top. So tonight, as always, reject anyone who triggers a red flag. Once the guest arrives, you all give you some quick tips, tip, tips to shake the rust off. But for now, want to hear the quick version? Yeah. Here's the quick version. Take a good look. Observe the guests. Estimate how well they would fit the party. 
If they're aggressive, uninterested, salespeople, creeps, underage, or totally wasted, reject them. Aggressive, uninterested, salespeople, creeps, underage, totally wasted. There are more reasons to reject people. Check a red flag note during the observation. Let's uh, see the list again. Okay. Okay. Acts like princess. Wants to make money here. No creeps, no kids, no pets, no sales. No inanimate object, no broke people, and uh, no blue jeans. If you ain't got your no, if you ain't got no money, get your broke ass home. You'll also be able to estimate how eager they are to come in. That little determination. We get done with the queue. Please simply use the door and come in. This will finish your work at the door. Did you get it? Let's go. Oh God, I'm tired. Let's go, laddie. Man in an unknown pleasure t-shirt. Hello, I... Alright, lad, let's get you up to speed again. Shake off the rust. I need you later tonight. Uh, I want to figure out this guy's party material or not. Who's still talking about me? What's going on here? Go ahead, lad. Check if he fits the party. Or how I call it, do your job. I'll bring you here tonight. Let's put it like this. I love the scam. What they call a music connoisseur, music head. Okay. Uninterested. Let's be honest, this electronic stuff isn't really my style. Rejected. But I gotta force myself to experience the less good to appreciate the truly good. Call it powdered cleanser. Not sure you would understand. Should be obvious by now. You get out of here. Sorry, not gonna happen tonight. Are you kidding me? Good call, lad. An uninterested sad sack would bring the party down. I'm blending everyone's voices. Excuse me, this is outrageously rude. He's also broke or close to it. I can feel it. You don't even know me. He's not willing to leave, lad. Get ready for a verbal spat. Remember, when he insults you, hit him back with a witty repartee. Your comeback has to fit his insult. There's only one correct answer. Oh, the determination's the bar above him. Got it. In the, in, in be quick. Even after, after some time, even the best comeback doesn't hit. How incompetent can one be? I know a couple of crackheads who would do a better job here than you. Than you two. Okay. So good to, to hear you stay in touch with your parents. What? My parents? I was not talking about my god his ass. Oh, blasted! <laughs> I won't be bullied by you two. I'm le I'm not leaving. Be in the power, lad. Each successful comeback will charge your hype level. The higher your hype level, the higher your damage. Okay, the lightning bolts. Got it. You're trying to act. Give him a verbal jab to send him home. The jab, so. Your shirt says unknown pleasures. How fitting, because this club will remain an unknown pleasure to you. Oh no. Two on what isn't fair? I'm out of here. Okay. Alright, hope that cleared things up. Now do the work I pay you to do. Finally, time to work on my own. Time to have an ad break. BRB. Just three minutes to clear the uh, pre rolls. Alright, back to work. I'll probably just do the one queue and then call it a night, but we'll see. Alright, resuming. Or no. Resume. Thank you. Okay, Moonshirt Girl, what's up? Dial on the sensitivity. Hi, I just want to dance. Will you let me in? Observe. What are you up to, to this evening? Oh, you want to know why I came? I came to have fun. I love dancing. 
see the rare pure energy rating off of her. She's not actually like a princess, so so. All right. Accept. Great. Thanks. Oh god, some sort of alpha chad dipshit. What's up? I came to party. Are you here tonight? What am I doing here? Not even sure. Arrogant? Could this place even handle a beast like me? Just kidding. Don't worry, redhead. He's not kidding. Still anger burning beneath the surface. I feel like that counts as aggressive. I'm gonna have a night out. Why are you asking? Sorry, not tonight. This is unheard of. Let me share some words of wisdom with you. The strong like me eat the weak like you. The simple truth I live by. It had to be simple enough for you to understand it. Say what? But my worldview. Have mercy. I'll blow half HP. Blasted. No way I'm leaving. Want me to leave? Make me. There's always another night, but tonight it isn't it for you. You're far from over. You better watch out, you weak worm. I'll chew you up and spit you out. Alright, hope. Oh. That would make me the smartest thing to ever come out of your mouth. What? But I said, ah, destroyed. Why'd you do me like that? I'm leaving. That was great. I like this. Mysterious tall woman. With a fitting night for us to meet. Assuming you are who I think you are. Sounds like you're looking for someone. I came here looking for one who sees a tall hood woman with vacant eyes. He smells faintly of rain and coconuts. Blank stare makes her impossible to read. Okay. I mean, sure, fine, why not? I assume most people come here to forget about themselves, so I came to find out about myself. I was told I would meet someone special on this street corner. One who truly sees people. Are you that someone? Doesn't add anything. No, I'm... Oh. Yep, that's me. So you're more confident about this than I am. I'll tell you what, let me tell you why I came here. You see, I don't know who I am, and I'm looking for one who can help me find out. Amnesia? Are you serious? This is precisely that. I remember some facts about myself. I just can't my, put my finger on who I truly am. I will tell you what I remember about myself. And you would try to use them to tell me who I am. Deal? Okay. She seems to concentrate. The fact about myself just surfaced. You may have already noticed this one about me. You have to be careful with me. I am unbelievably fragile. In fact, I'm so fragile that by simply by speaking my name, you will break me. Who am I? Uh, silence. Silence. When you speak my name, you break me. She seems to consider your answer. Well, this is some Sphinx's riddle ass shit. There's truth to your claim. I am silence. Did you have to scream that? I know myself better now. All right. And we love it up. All right. I'm glad to help. I've already shook loose some old memories. There's a blissful silence within me. That's what you helped me remember. Thank you for that, seeing one. Next time I get one of those hunches, we might see each other again. Sure. See you around. So she left anyway. 
At least he's pleasant. Greetings! I came to party! Why'd you come here tonight? That's simple, to dance! I am, like, all about grooves and beats. Uh... It's naive, but that's not necessarily on the list. Asking us what DJ is playing. For sure! Sure is, I love that dude's sets. Last time I saw him live, I danced till the sunrise. Okay. It doesn't mean much, but he's right. Alright, go ahead. Thanks, dude. Is there like a capacity of door up? Thin tall man. Greetings, stranger. I came to talk to your boss about important matters. I'm here to talk to my boss, why? I'm glad you asked. I am Yuli the Entertainer. Second most famous entertainer, music, uh, entertainer, actor, musician, political figurehead in my motherland. Sing, dance, tell jokes, do politics, Yuli does it all. I am here to propose that I will become the next solo entertainer of this establishment. Rejecto. He's here to the Hawkeye Services salesperson. No, get the fuck out of here. Sorry, no salespeople. You cannot be serious. I have an important offer for your boss. Let me through if you care about this business. No salespeople, come back during the day. You are insane. I can just talk to your boss for one second. Daddy, listen to me quick. A quick test of your skills. What do you do if someone starts yelling or cussing you out? Turn a deaf ear to it. Now you're talking, lad. Just avoid the insults mentally. Then once they're warning themselves out, you let them have it. They'll be embarrassed by their outbursts if you're unfazed. I'll get back to work. That was your boss? I have never wanted to ask for anyone more than her. What tenacity, what fire, what strength. Step aside, you are not worthy of her. That's all you've got? No salespeople. You dare to treat me this way. I'm the second greatest entertainer in the whole Eastern Bloc. Get ready to ignore this outburst. Oh, we got the dodge. Fantastic. Oh, it's 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 Undertale combat. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Curse you out in a language you don't understand. This meant nothing to you? Completely unfazed. What I said to you in my country, man, would be shot like a dog. Your soul must be as cold as ice. Self destruct. You love to see it. Okay, time for me to go. Man with a panda shirt. Greetings. I came to party. What are you up to in this evening? You came to celebrate me! I'm all decked out my special gear. It means it's a pretty t shirt of a bear. I'm single and ready to mingle. So we feel way off about that delivery. Creepy. No creeps. No creeps. Don't observe it. Oh god, the eyebrows. He's just looking at you. I think you should have more fun somewhere else. No way! How competent can one be? If I was running things around here, I'd have you shot. You were running things here, I'd shoot myself. You gotta read quick though. But, but I run some things. Damn. Got him good. I'm staying. Go ahead, make me leave then. It is naive, so. I'm still insulted by what was said earlier. Is that all you got? I'll tell you, I'm up to no good. One day I'm gonna have to warn my kids about scum like you. 
Yeah. That's impossible. For that to happen, you'd have to get laid at some point in your life. What? Who knows? Maybe I don't want kids anyways. Yo, man, you open that door. I just walked through it. I see. The fun about his shirt. That was mean. Nothing personal, I'll just leave now. Don't tell me what to do, I'm leaving on my own accord. Alright, woman in a black dress. Finally. Hello there. I came to party. How are you doing tonight? Arrogant? Oh, now it's my turn. This took too long. Oh, I already hate this. Is it? Oh, fuck you. You're out. Just joking. She isn't. Not really. Not gonna happen tonight. Your behavior is unacceptable. I hate this fucking place. Why in the shithole in hell I would rent the, this place out and live in hell? You should know where you feel most at home. Blasted. No bombers. Alright, man in a green jacket. Hey there! I just had to come here tonight. Gotta get my fix of music. What brings you here tonight? Why I came? At source, okay. Correct. I heard a lot about that kid. So far, it's a must hear for me. It truly seems to be here for the music. Alright. We're good? We're good? Alright, have fun. Alright, man. I waited a while for this. Tiger Man. Wait, did that guy get back in line? Or is it another guy with a unknown pleasure shirt? Greetings. I came to have fun. So what brought you here tonight? Me? I just came to chill. You know, kick back, enjoy the music, have a few drinks, maybe dance. He's dressed like you could afford a bunch of drinks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're in. Comment about the fancy suit. Nice threads, custom made. Yeah, I came right after work. They make us wear these. I had to work late and didn't feel like going home first. Sorry, I should have gotten changed. That's fine. I feel out of place. This should be good. We didn't talk to the cultists earlier, so... That's our time is short. We won't bother you too long. We require our help. Uh, we? I only see one person. We are each one part of many. Uh, don't be ableist about it. There's one part of us that is trapped in your establishment. A young girl, red-haired, quiet, with sad eyes. That sounds like Anna. She helps out in the club. Why are they searching for her? How do you know she's in there? We are all one. We are everywhere. We sense all of us. And now, if you feel the loss of one of uh, one of us, like the vibes are off, you're certain she's in your establishment. Too bad. Well, you're here to sniff around. Go search elsewhere. Entering was never our mission. We shun any places of earthly pleasures. Just tell her to come outside. She must be part of the whole again. You again. Man in a pleasure t-shirt again. You think you got rid of me? It's just you and I now. Get ready. It all ends the way it started. That's the way it should be. Oh. Why is there a gorilla? Ha! I can see the fear in your eyes. Now it's one-on-one. -on -one. What the? What are you? Oh, thanks, buddy. First in line, lucky me! What are you waiting for? Get that damn drawer open more for me, bouncer. I mean, he's aggressive. Just look at this guy. He just brutally assaulted the guest in line ahead of him. He seems ready, uh, ready to do anything. You also notice, however, that his eye contact is weak. Any more red flags do you need? 
Okay, boss fight, let's go. Sorry, but I think you'd have more fun somewhere else. What? You are kidding me. You saw what happened to the last guy who stood in my way. Want to share his fate? You wanna re if it's really smart to reject this dude. This is not the party for you. You don't have the guts to stand in my way. I will give you one last chance to do what is best for you. Got to three. By then, you will open that door. One. I'd be surprised if you can't hire than three anyways. Bonk. Jay, cutting out this openly. It's too much. All right, that's a hit. He's tongue-tied. He tries to give it back to you, but is unable to. Wow, not so tough now, are you? Questioning my toughness this bluntly. This is so insulting. I probably could have done better on that one. You try to answer, but he's too... Uh, you need something stronger. All right, learn new skill, cutting remarks. It's time to cut to the truth of this matter. Truth is... You're so scared of people that... Brutality is the only... Intimacy, you can handle. Got his ass. That felt good. You learned something new. Feels like you were finally able to shake off some of that skill rust. What happened just now? I'm going to rethink some of my life choices. Worst beating I ever took. This meeting never happened. Big XP boys. It's time to go inside and see how the party's going. You're done with the queue. Time to head inside and see how the party's going. Guess we can go meet Anna and see what the de her deal was. Get some chug, but... Hey there, Neil. Hey, Anna. Is everything okay? Seems there are people out there trying to find you. You know, I would totally tell you about this. But this is only the demo version. Sorry, I can't get into that here. I understand. Sorry, I gotta be someplace. Okay, we gotta go see Gunthe. Oh, it's another one of the Alpha guys. Usually there'd be a funny conversation here, but it is not included in the demo version. Alright, let's go see Gunthe. It's another one we're probably gonna need to get that video card upgrade before I can, uh... You have a good time at the bar. Oh, the bouncer came in. I took the barkeeper for a great service. Here's one for you as well. Both you guys are doing a good job in here. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, enjoy your evening. You too, buddy. Come to think of it, you'd let me in again, right? I can make no promises, depends on the party. Oh, I understand, okay then. Like she looked like the uh, the moon shirt girl a little bit, but it seems busy without Anna to of the bar. Maybe you should talk to her later. Okay. Rick the regular? This old guy's called Rick. He's one of our oldest regular. Oh, it's Casablanca reference. Weird guy. Comes every night. Hardly ever speaks. Okay. You know what a music lover should like, and he certainly acts like one. If the club's... Can fascinate people like him, his reputation his reputation will go through the roof. What's up? Hey there. This kid is just what people told me he was. That's some smooth mixing right there. Alright, well, I'm glad you're having a good time. Guessing the office is upstairs. Maybe he's in the one? Better leave him there? Okay. Anybody else out here? Nope, all shadows on the floor. You hear a commotion. Sounds like it's coming from the bar area. We don't have time for fun like that in the demo version. Time to get paid. Get in here, laddie. Time to talk business. 
Ah, uh, don't you just love looking down on the sweaty, dancing bodies? Sweat is the only proof that someone is doing their best work for you. I want more. More dancing, more sweating, more drinking. Where am I? I mean, where was I in the conversation? Oh, I guess we'll observe. She seems happy. No surprises there. It's time to count the money. So you'd rather sit around, but it's time to keep working. Let's talk business. You're right, lad. Business first, pleasantries later. Our job is to create a three-star party tonight. Let's do some quick calculations. How'd the bar go? Terms of drinks, the club's running on the most basic shabby stock. Well, I think we got a decent party stars rating down on the corner, but it didn't help our party in the least. So is there going to be more club management in the full version? Let's get, all the, get to music. Our equipment's in need of an upgrade, which isn't helping our party. What about the visuals? We don't exactly have a light show going on at the moment, and visuals matter. How, we, how, we, how about VIP guests? How many were there? None? Nil! When did you let any of the high rollers in? piss her off, but I can't let them in if they don't come here. They don't? Oh yeah, right. People used to flock to this place for miles away. Now we're just a dump. We gotta do something about this now, lad. Take these. Change your stack of flyers. You need to invite people to the party from now on. Keep those eyes open on the way here. Invite anyone who seems like they could make a promising guest at our party. Especially anyone with deep pockets, lad. Moving on, who did you join her? The overview tells us the quality of the guests you chose. The guests you let have the... They didn't give the party a value of 10. That, together with our earlier bonuses, means... Tonight was a... 10-star party. We made it. Your good performance earned you one upgrade point. You have one upgrade point. Okay, so the better we do, the more we can upgrade the club. How did this impact our reputation? At the beginning of the night, the club's reputation was two. After tonight, it has become a six. We're moving on up, lad. You're getting paid 100 euros tonight. It's well deserved, lad. Cool. Guess that concludes work for the day. Send to the demo version of Techno Banter. Thank you for playing. This is cute. I like it. I wasn't entirely sure what we're getting into, but... I'm down.